Welcome back to day 6 of Shall We Games Games Quarantine 2. Every day for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be recommending some games I think you should be playing during quarantine. Some will be free, some will be paid, some will be a knockout. Blaze Blue has to be in any fighting game list. A fantastic 2D sprite based fighter set in a 2.5D world makes Blaze Blue stand out amongst its competition. The game features some of the best 2D art in the industry, and its particle effects only serve to accentuate its aesthetic. With a list of beautifully animated characters, each unique with their own personalities that shine through their various art styles, amazingly detailed stages and a host of brilliantly composed soundtracks that is able to perfectly capture the intensity of the stage. I am recommending Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger since it is the cheapest one available on Steam. Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger is available on Steam for $9.99. For today's classic, I want to recommend The Killer Instinct for Super Nintendo. I know that the reboot that occurred was Xbox PC exclusive. Killer Instinct was just one of those games that built up a cult following despite having some flaws here and there. It is by no means a bad game. Playing through Killer Instinct today might feel a bit sluggish and bloated, but when I played it all those years ago it was just different. Killer Instinct had interesting characters that surprisingly stuck with me for years. I'm not talking about the Raptor, although that is like the second character I think about when, I when somebody mentions Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct is a game I grew up with. It proved a fantastic competitor in my opinion to the likes of Street Fighter. A fun, dark and at times rather humorous. The game might have borrowed a lot from Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter but it had its own charm. I'm not really recommending that you play the newly released Killer Instinct but you should if you like the old SNES version. Killer Instinct was released for the Super Nintendo and Arcade starting October 28, 1994. What is fighting games without Mugen? <laughs> First initially released in, on July 27, 1999, Mugen quickly garnered a reputation and a loyal fan base that exists to this day. Mugen is both a fighting game engine as well as a video game. With back and forth inconsistent updates over the course of the past two decades, you might think that Mugen would have died down, but the loyal fan base is there. Over the years, hundreds of thousands of creations were created by people from the community known as authors. Whether it was ripping assets from existing games or creating entirely new ones, from music to stages to characters to entirely new modes, the engine at its core is completely customizable. Mugen is the only game where you can pit Sonic the Hedgehog vs Ryu vs Goku. Still porting characters from other 2D fighting games, still making games on the engine, I feel a few blurbs isn't enough to truly grasp the entire history and importance of Mugen. If you want a fully customized, tweakable, hackable, and a game that is undeniably for you, then Mugen is what you want. And well, with that, we close all this for today. What do you all think about today's recommendations? Do you all like it? Have you been playing any of these? What do you think? Feel free to sound off in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more recommendations.